This programme contains strong language, moderate pain, aggressive behaviour and scenes some viewers may find offensive. This is possibly the worst tattoo of the series, especially for a girl. If I was Cheryl, Sam would be a dead man. I hear to ask, but must be the story behind it. What is it? So basically, when we went on holiday last year, she on the first day in the pool, she had a massive snail trail and uh, when we pointed that out to her, she was dead embarrassed about it and ran to shave off immediately. And uh, can't shave that one off, can you? Why would you tattoo it on her permanently then if she was embarrassed? I'm all for having the laugh, but this is just wrong. They're supposed to be mates. The best thing is, she said last night, oh, I hope they don't get my snail trail on the telly. Well, it's, it's definitely on the telly. My girlfriend's actually going to see that and think, what the fuck? Now it makes sense, Sam wants to discuss Cheryl's girlfriend so that they spend more time together. Have you got anything you want to say, Sam? We might, uh, get the friendship back on track. Maybe at snail's pace. <laughs> Did you like it? Does it remind you of old Sam? <laughs> I fucking hate you. What have you done to me? Oh, I hate it. I fucking hate it. No chance. Cheryl, can you tell us the story? On Sam's other butt cheek, he's got a rose tattoo. And underneath that rose tattoo is that exact birthmark that he covered up. Sam doesn't like his imperfections, so I thought what better way to get him to love it than to get it back. Imagine getting an imperfection covered up and your mate tattooing it back on you. Brutal. It is literally the same as well. Oh my god. I'm putting it, I can't keep looking at that. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think it would be that, you know. <sighs> Fuck's sake. That, that is brilliant. May as well delete my grinder profile because I ain't getting any more boys no more. To be fair, you deserve it. What goes around comes around, Sam, especially on this show. So are you two still friends? I forgive you. It's going to take me a while to forgive you on that one, I'm not going to lie. Can we have a hug? Can we end on a happy note? Come on then, babe. Come on. Come on then. The fuck is that? Do you not get it? No. You know, could you always wear fake tan? <laughs> right, money. Full story, please. Okay, so basically, every time she goes out, her tan always goes streaky because it gets hot. The buckets representing her fake tan, yeah, and then she only ever tans up to like a certain point. <laughs> now I'm looking at it, I can actually see the line where you stopped doing your false tan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got what you saw. <laughs> Don't be tight with your fake tan, AJ. I'll lend you some cash. Hang on, let's get me purse. Is it weird? I kind of love it. So, AJ, are you telling me you like your tattoo? Yeah, because I'm weird like that. Do you want to come up with me, Monique? Good luck. <laughs> you made me move your finger off as Monique. The reason why I picked this was because Monique has some scars on her arm from a few years back that she's not very confident over. So I thought I'd pick a nice, strong warrior woman to prove how strong she's been in the past few years. 
<laughs> you Hi, I'm Charlotte Crosby, and if you're enjoying this channel as much as I think you are, hit the subscribe button for even more amazing MTV videos.